Does, does your man keep you on your toes when it comes to living a healthy lifestyle? One man who does just that with his wife, Danielle, is former footballer Gary Lineker. Danielle has said that they've been trying to eat more healthily since Christmas, but on the occasion when she's been tempted to have some chocolate, Gary has made her think twice. Mm. So, does your partner have a positive or negative effect when it comes to you trying to be healthier? Um, well, I th it's good that Mark's around because otherwise I really would just be slobbing out, you know, completely. You know, as you get older, you just think, oh, I just can't be bothered anymore. No, you don't. I can't be bothered <laughs> to not eat, to exercise and do all those things. But it's good because, you know, I simply have to because he's 22 years younger than me. But I'm, it's actually quite good because at the moment, mm. he's only 29, but because we've been to America, and because it's been Christmas, he's getting fat. Oh, he's not. Oh, I'm telling you. Oh, oh I'm telling you. Listen, I've got a photograph of him at Christmas sitting there like that with a pint of beer on his belly. <laughs> and I'm not joking, and it's great. But the difference is it's between... It's puppy fat. It'll go. <laughs> it's not. <laughs> he's getting to that stage where he realises now that he can't eat everything that he wants. You know, when we go, when we go away, he doesn't order one club sandwich. He orders two. Two burgers, two of everything. And now it's kind of filling out. And he doesn't like it any more than, than, uh, than I do. And I'm always saying, I'm always poking him going, ooh, what's that? Oh, you better get down the gym. And when I say to him, oh, look at this, he goes, you're beautiful, you haven't got a fat belly. And I just think that's a bit mean of me, because I do yeah, have a go at him all the time. Mean. But, uh, you know, he's doing something about it, and it's, it's going, and he's back at the gym now, so... I have to say that Mr Spain actually <laughs> saved my life, because he gave up the drink first, and then I gave it up. Actually, funnily enough, talking about uh, Danielle Lineker, because mm. she's in Calendar Girls with me, you know. Oh, yeah. So oh, yeah. I rushed home and said to Mr Spain, excuse me, could I look like her? <laughs> <laughs> so we're rather... <laughs> We're, I've thrown all the mince pies into the bin. But yeah, so you, you do. Think you should buy a bars of chocolate. Buy a bars yes, of chocolate. Yes, because she's going to stand yeah, next yeah, to you. No, yeah, no that would look on. cruel on my part. <laughs> <laughs> But I might. Um, <laughs> no, no. But I think it is very helpful. And, and actually, Michael's. In a way, I think when men decide to give up something, like Michael gave up drinking, it was absolutely immediate. And they're very good. They don't emotionally. Mm. Blackmail themselves, so he because he's very strong, so he'll make that decision. So we do it, and then I have a little wobble, um, and the chocolate, and he hears me downstairs. Oh, well, what? Oh, I you see. Know, I, right, I you I have a weakness, yes, rather Christmas. than just wobbling over to the fridge. Yes, shut up. <laughs> And then he's kind of, no, no, don't do it. And then that annoys me. But then he'll suddenly say, go on then, give me a chocolate. And then I panic because I think, well, if he doesn't hold strong, we're all going to be in trouble, really. All in trouble. <laughs> <I was> really... <laughs> <laughs> you should, you should come <laughs> I think it's really nice to share all those naughty bits and pieces. Like, I mean, Paul and I, we've got to, we're not, we, we, you know, we live in the country now, and part of the biggest pleasures that we, that we have there is we go to the pub and we have half a shandy and a pie. And we love it. And it's just, surely there's got to come a point where you can both say, do you know what? You know, life's really good, let's... Cos, I mean, he does a little bit of exercise, but he's not really bothered about it, and I'm not really bothered about whether he yeah, does or not. you are um, very slim, yes. naturally. I live blessed. on my nerves, that's what it is. <laughs> yeah. But well, I do it, my metabolism... Little, but I'm you're not, not fit, slim, naturally. I'm not fit, and when I go on a you walk, you, I'm puffing and panting. You all the time. I, I eat healthily, hmm. and my little treat is my shandy and my pie at the weekend. Well, that's but hardly I do... going over the top. Yeah, but, also, but I mean, at Christmas I ate what I wanted, because I think psychologically I've got... I don't want to have to keep watching those things anymore. It makes you miserable. Mm. Gives you the ump. Yeah. <laughs> well, one lady who's never down and does love a hump is our Denise Welsh. <laughs> <laughs> and this weekend, she's performing for the very first time on Dancing on Ice. And we've got her on the phone. Denzi, how are you? Yay! 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 There she is! Yay! Hey, Den! <laughs> are, are you ready? Are you match fit? I'm actually now. You are? I'm standing the now. Is she skating underwater? <laughs> then don't don't move. Stand still. Find a signal. Can you hear us? Can you hear me now? Yes. Sort of. Yeah. Don't move. Ha are you nervous? I am absolutely wrecking myself. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what? It's oh, a terrible line. Do you know, it could be anybody, couldn't it? <laughs> <laughs> let's let's look. What... No. Yes. Oh, not very well. Not very well. We're, we're going to come back to you a little bit later when you've found a signal that works. I, no, my signal.
signal is working. It's your rubbish signal. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's all right. We've got it back. We'll stick mobile, with though. it. Hey, listen, what are you wearing or not? Not no, now, on Sunday. No, I can't tell you what I'm wearing, but it's a little bit different to the norm. Are you the Lady right. Gaga of Dancing on Ice? No, I'm not wearing any pork chops. But <laughs> you will but you will enjoy what what I'm wearing. It has a certain theme to do with the song that I'm singing. Oh. Singing? You're singing? Yeah. Singing? I'm singing. singing. I'm singing. I'm escaping too. Oh. <laughs> Denzi, Denzi, have oh you got God. have you I rehearsed a few lines for Jason? What? Have you rehearsed a few lines for Jason? Oh my God, have I? I'm ready for him. I bet you're ready to go. Why are you going to say? You know something? I'm just. I, I am excited. Are you all going to vote for me? Of course. Yes. Yes. Even if you're rubbish. <laughs> oh, I, I, I voted last week, and you weren't even doing it. <laughs> no, even if we're not watching, we'll vote for you. <laughs> but I want you. I want you all to come down as well because they're expecting a posse of slack lasses in the audience very oh, soon. We'll, we'll be there. I think some of us are going this Sunday, aren't yeah. we? Yeah. yeah. I can't come this Sunday, but I'll be texting you. Did you get the last one, Dens? Yes. You, I'll be there to see you in the final, Dens. Yeah. Oh, bless you. Oh, was, that, just... was, that, was, was that big, fat Lisa Maxwell talking about food before? <laughs> yeah, 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 it was. What just... a talker she is. Have you... <laughs> so you've laid off the pies then, obviously, because of your frocks. Yes. Yeah. You haven't seen this nothing of her. I've lost a stone and four pounds now. Oh. Oh. I know. She put the wine down. <laughs> Ridiculous. Just the food, not the wine. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Dens, good luck. Um, in, in, in a so show much. busy way, break a leg, but don't. Yeah. And Thank we'll you, all darling. be watching and voting, won't we, on Sunday? Yeah. Well done, Dens. 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 Yeah. Well done, Dens.